Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. We've got the Raven Cajon. Oh, I've been itching for this thing. I've actually had it for over a week now. Yeah, and it's not on the channel yet. I've been busy. I'm back to work. Uh, my regular job that I do during the spring, summer, and fall. And yeah, I've been really busy, guys. Um, so I'm trying to get whatever videos I can do. This thing just keeps getting shoved aside, shoved aside, shoved aside. And then, you know, the other day I went to, you know, go to Long McQuaid and I picked up a guitar there. I went to Acclaim Sound of Music in the end, bought this really freaking cool amp. Uh, but while I was at Long McQuaid too, I did also um, rent a guitar as well, which we're going to revisit. Um, it's one that's been on the channel before. Actually, I think I'm going to probably do videos on both, really. But the one especially I really want to revisit because I looked at the video quality of that one and I'm like, we need to do a redo. Um, I'm not deleting them though. They're getting great hits. Um, so it's making me money. Um, but we are going to do a revisit on actually both of those guitars because I think it's really absolutely a good idea. Um, but um, And the one has a story behind it, which is quite freaking interesting. In the meantime, we did get the Raven. Uh, this is one that my wife actually purchased for me. We were in Long McQuaid, and they had the Raven, and I'm like, Honey, Raven, the Raven. And she's like, Yeah, and I want it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like possessed or something. I don't know what the problem is. Um, but I, I, just something about the, the thing, it, it attracts me. I mean, I mean, it's nice. Like, it's nice black face. It's got, you know, all three sides around or covered with ravens. Even the top, man. Like, it's almost the same to sit on him, but you have to in order to play it. Um, big honking porthole, just like my music genre cajon. <coughs> now, this thing is also different, in a sense. Both cajones are made out of MDF, okay? Which is fine. Who cares? Doesn't matter. Um, they both have the same Marante wood tops. So they are actually wood, okay? But there is a sound difference between them, a very big sound difference, because uh, this one tends to put out a little bit less bass, but a lot more snare. And yet the snares are in the exact same position, they're the same double snares up top, you know, and same front wood. You would think, oh yeah, but the cabinets, they're the same size cabinets inside, yes. Outsides are different, and that's what makes them sound different too, believe it or not. Okay, and we're going to give you a little bit of a side-by-side. -side. So let me just put that one there. And I'll grab out my other one. I'm going to just move the kick pedal because we're not going to use the kick pedal. And we'll move that on the floor. So this is my music genre one. Now, this has slats on the side, okay? It's kind of like a crate, okay? And it's an awesome design. I love this cajon. Um... And uh, I've played this actually, I think, twice now in church. Um, and, of course, this one I did at worship practice this week. But our drummer did show up for church today. So no cajon for Kevy today. But that was okay. I don't mind. I had enough to deal with with playing my electric guitar standing up. And i got to get a wider strap because that narrow one digs into my neck. And that's an 8-pound guitar. Anyways, so if we just take a listen here. Raven. Night and day, like totally different sound. Way more throb out of this, less snare. Lesser throb, a lot more snare. So, even though they're the same material, same dimensions, same wood top, snares are exactly the same and in the same places, same portholes at the back for the bass. Whoa. And I even have a pickup sitting in this one, you know, which it's not plugged in right now, but I do have a pickup in there. Um, this one is really throbby. You know what I mean? It's like, I love that, that yeah, deep bass, man. 
can that ever bounce things? I mean, if windows bounced in our church, I'm pretty sure I could probably do it. Uh, but they are tempered. I think they're tempered double paned or something. Anyways, I don't know. But you get you get the idea. This thing can really kick out some serious bass, which is awesome. Anyways, uh, especially when you have the kick pedal on there, it's even better. But these slats here help with a dampening. Okay, it actually kind of dampens the snare, but it also helps with more bass, right? So it's like a kind of like a muffler in a sense. I guess you could say muffles the snare and increases the low end. Um, so that's where I, I'm seeing the differences in them build wise. So, but yeah, I, I really, and they're, they're both the exact same price and they're both made by Pearl. And um, Pearl makes some amazing stuff, even for, for whatever, for drums or accessories. They do some really neat stuff. Um, but for $129.99, either one of these, they're fantastic, you know. So you got to kind of sit down with one in the music store, you know, and you got to sit there and you got to, you know, play it and see how you like the sound difference between them. Because picking out a cajon is kind of like picking out a guitar, except in this case, it's kind of not about what fits you as far as, you know, doing this or doing this left or right handed and, you know, arms and all that. This is all about um, the sound. Now, if you're an adult, um, that you're like five feet or taller, maybe even a four foot person, I don't know. I'd have to find a four foot person. But as long as you can plant your feet flat on the ground, that's the most important thing when you're sitting upright. If you can do that, you're good for a full size cajon. If you can't, you might want to go to Kitty Culver, which is about half the, half the height. Now, I am not getting addicted to cajons, don't get me wrong. I really want the Raven. My wife got it for me. They only have the one in stock. They only get one at a time. And they were selling cajones like hotcakes even during Gibson month right now. And so they're like, well, if it goes, it goes. And uh, so anyways, we went out. I think we had some chow. Then we came back. It was still there. And the wife decided to buy it for me. And I'm like, sweet. Um, and uh, so anyway, so I got it finally. And I'm like, yeah. I mean, Amazon wanted almost 200 bucks for this thing before tax. And I'm like, <laughs> not going to happen on Amazon. Um, but when I first saw this thing, I was like, ooh. And I, I've been after this thing for, you know, even since before I got that. You know, the other one. Um, but I do love the other one, too. And now I can play either one of them in church. It's kind of like whatever mood I'm in now uh, for sound. But, uh, and I can transfer my bracket for my kicker between them. No big deal. Um, but, um, you know, cajon is a serious instrument and you need to seriously get yourself fitted into what you want for a cajon setup. They even have cajon drum kits. It's kind of like having a drum set, but it's all cajones. It's really freaking cool. Um, it can get a little costly when you start getting into that stuff. But cajones come in different price ranges and you don't have to have a five or six hundred dollar or a thousand dollar cajon to have an awesome cajon. This thing is like 130 bucks, man, and it is freaking insane. It's great. I love it. But some of them are made out of actual full all real woods, you know, which is a difference too to some people. Some people want that. And I totally understand it. I personally don't care. Um, you know, it's got a wood top. That's what matters the most. It doesn't the rest of it doesn't matter as much, right? Um, kind of like guitars. Your top matters the most. That's your sounding board. That's, you know, where things resonate and, and vibrate and all that, right? That's your most important part is your top. But then, of course, for all the rest of it, that's like body size, dimensions, and what type of wood it's made out of, or HPL, which isn't even wood. Um, so high pressure laminate, they call it. Um, you know, that stuff doesn't matter as much as your top does on a guitar. Same as your strings. Your strings make a difference, a huge difference actually, uh, in your sound of your guitar. And more so, you will notice it in an acoustic over an electric, but you still notice it in both. I do. Um, but yeah, cajon is the same thing. It's kind of like whatever's, you know, getting your jive on. Uh, I've rented a couple cajons. I think two of them at least, or one. One or two. Plus I had the church's cajon here. And, you know, in playing the other ones, I'm like, but that's a little more money, and I don't like the sound of it. Even though it has some real wood there, I didn't really like the sound. 
right? And like, you know, smaller hole, no tube system for the porting. It's kind of like, that's kind of boring to me. But it's a personal preference, and cajones are personal preference, okay? But if you're tall enough to sit on your flat feet here, um, that's the right size, okay? Then it's just a matter of learning to how to play either with your hands, or you can put a kick pedal on it and use a kick pedal and your one hand if you want to. Um, but if you're a guitar player and you want to do guitar and drums, you just need a kick pedal. And uh, I would highly recommend this one here by Manel. Um, this is about 170 bucks. Now I've made some upgrades. I actually uh, put a nice thick pad under here because uh, this has the things to dig into the carpet, which is fine on a carpet. But this thing isn't going anywhere, you know, like you clamp it on, it's not going anywhere. Um, but I put this to not just protect carpet, um, which I didn't, it didn't matter, is to protect my floor in here. Um, but uh, I also made a slight modification too to the mounting bracket, which I'll show you. I might as well cover this stuff in one video, you know. So I took the same <coughs> material, which is just a stick-on felt thing use for chairs that was you know cut it out yourself kind of deal so i traced it and i cut it out and away we went and then my wife made this one for me for the bracket out of the same material because they have a, a double layer of steel here which is fine but then it allowed for movement up and down of the front brace and i'm like that's not acceptable like why didn't they just make it so that it was all the way through in one shot and i have no idea but with having this pad here now, it also more protects my cajon, but it also gives me a different point of um, how things attach, right? Uh, I put the same padding on the back uh, disc because what they had on there was like literally thinner than paper. I don't even know how you could call it a protector. And they had the same thing on the front, so I used the same material on the front and on the back as I'm using here. And that made a huge improvement in the bracket. Um, that was like a night and day thing. And believe it or not, that actually changes your tone just a little bit. Um, which actually, in this case, gives me a little bit even more bass probably is what's happening with that. Because it dampens it more, eh? So, the sound. But, uh, yeah. And, uh, but yeah, I, I love this home too. I think it's fantastic. But the Raven is something that, like I said, is something I really wanted, and I got it, and I like it, and it does sound different too, uh, which is a nice thing. Uh, you need a little bit of difference here and there in life, um, so you have a little bit of variety. But uh, So if you're looking at getting a cajon, do consider the Pearl, uh, either the Raven, the music genre. Now, these are both $129. They may have another one or two at the same price, but they do have them at other prices as well. Um, and many multitude of brands out there, you know, um, some people might like the Manel more than I do, you know, but, or I just haven't found the right Manel, but I don't really care because I'm only having just the two here and then I'm buying the DIY, the do it yourself kit to build a full size cajon. Um, and I'm going to customize it out of Kevy style with, uh, my own custom paint job and, and all that sort of thing. Whether or not I put a pickup in it, I haven't decided yet. This is not going to get a pickup. It's not even required for a pickup. Uh, we did plug the pickup in at church uh, in the other one. Just about blew the head off the shoulders of our poor piano player once I started kicking her. And it's like, well, that's a little excessive. Uh, let's just unplug that. And it was so much better. And, you know, as far as people being in the service goes, you know, even with 50, 60 people in the sanctuary filling it up and dampening the room down, that thing still thumped everything like boom, boom, you know, it's like, oh, you know, it's like, so the pickup will be handy for me to record into my, my DAW with in here, but otherwise, yeah, I really don't need the pickup, but it's in there now and it's stained. So, uh, but I'm not going to put one in this. I don't see a point to it, but, um, anyways, that's pretty much there. Um, so I say four and a half out of five. I, I think it more than deserves it. And it's not just because I love the, the, the design on it. It is nice hand-painted and silkscreen. That's not where any of the points come in, other than the fact that it has a fantastic finish job, yes. Fantastic build quality, definitely. Nice top on it. It's the same Marante top, but yes, still very nice top. 
uh, either way. Great sounding too. It meets my requirements for sure. If it meets yours, that's another option to check out. But uh, they also have like the TNT one. They've got um, an electric electricity one or something. There's a, a lot of freaky style looking cajones. Um, and they're not that expensive either when you're not going near the, the mid or top tier level stuff. And do you really need the mid or top tier? Well, I guess it kind of depends on your taste, to be honest, really. You know, um, it's not one of those things where I would say you get what you pay for, that you're going to get better if you spend more, because it is, no matter what, it all boils down with all instruments. It is personal preference, not really the price tag, okay? Um, and in some cases, yes, you can spend more and get more for your money. Other cases, you spend more, get less. Other cases, you spend less and you get way more, which is part of the reason why I'm away from the Gibsons now and into the Epiphones more, because I'm getting just as good an instrument for two to three times less money. I'm getting optimal quality over the Gibsons because I get a better cut nut, better tuning stability out of the Epiphones. So I got to kind of look at those factors. You know, what am I getting in each kind of brand? Doesn't mean I'm not going to ever not own a Gibson guitar again. I may, I may not. I don't know. We'll see how my taste buds go. Um, but it's not like I need another Les Paul either. You know, I kind of really love that new white and gold one. So when I look at my Cajones, it's the same thing. I'm more than content with these two. But I want a DIY because I want to take you guys through a DIY build. But at the same time, I want to do a custom Alakevi thing, show off my kind of artwork uh, that I'm going to be doing to it. And of course, how I'm going to tune the sound on it to what I want it to be able to do. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys. Um, so yeah, four and a half out of five. Easy peasy. Price is just perfect. Great for a beginner player. Great for an advanced player. I mean... It doesn't matter, you know, what your skill level is. These things are just fine, um, you know. But you do have tons of options to look at it, and it is personal preference in the end. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.